Dr. Jang's Play Math. Hello, my Play Math friends. It's Dr. Jang. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today's story is about a hungry snake who collects mice in a jar for his dinner. Are you curious about what happens and how the story ends? Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Mouse Count by Ellen Stoll Walsh. One fine day, some mice played in the meadow. They were careful to watch for snakes. But when the mice got sleepy, they forgot about snakes, and they all took naps. While they slept, a hungry snake went looking for dinner. On his way, he found a nice big jar. I will fill this jar with dinner, he said. It wasn't long before he found three mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep. First, I will count them, and then I will eat them up," said the snake. "Must count one, two, three. He dropped them into the jar, but he was very hungry. Three mice were not enough. Soon he found four more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep, and he counted them: four, five, six, seven. But the snake was very, very hungry, and seven mice were not enough. At last, he found three more mice, little, warm, and tasty, fast asleep, and he counted them: eight, nine, ten. Ten mice are enough. Now I am going to eat you up, little worm and tasty," said the snake. "Wait," said one of the mice. "The jar isn't full yet. And look at the big mouse over there." The snake was very greedy. He hurried off to get the big mouse. And while he was gone, the mice rocked the jar one way and another way until over it went. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. The little mice uncounted themselves and ran home. The snake reached the big mouse, but it was only a cold, hard rock. And when he got back, the jar was empty. The end. Now it's time for an after-reading activity. To do this activity, you'll need an empty jar, form cubes in three different colors. Here are our mice. 
A sock snake. You can make a sock snake out of an old sock, gluing two googly eyes and a tongue to it. Put on a sock shake on your hand and pick up some cubes off the table and then drop them in the jar. Children dump the cubes back out onto the table, just like the mice escape in the story. Count the cubes. Now that the mice are back on the table, you can start all over again. Once children get used to the activity, add another set of cubes in different color. At this time, children add up two differently colored cubes. Once children get used to it, add the third set of cubes in different color. Three different colors represent the three numbers children add together. Be careful the sum should be 10, like the snake collects a total of 10, 3 plus 4 plus 3 might send the story. Hope you'll enjoy the activity. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, subscribe to this channel. See you next time!